We're outside of our 2015 Montana Model 3402 RL fifth wheel. We've given you a video tour inside and we've also shared some of our likes and dislikes about it. So we're going to go show you a 2016 model and see what's changed. And we can give you a look inside some of the storage compartments and cabinets that we're unable to show you in ours because they're pretty packed. Yeah. So let's go have a look. This is the 2016 Montana Model 3402 RL. RL meaning rear living. First thing that I notice on this one is that it has the full body paint job. The only decals on this are the Montana logos. All the stripes are full paint. On our 2015 model, we have the non-full paint model and the stripes are decals. So we're gonna take a look, starting in the front here. We like to call this the garage. First thing I notice is that it has this reinforced material on this to keep from rocks and road grime and everything from destroying the paint. Inside here, you can keep a generator, tools, anything you like, like that. And over here we have the hydraulic fluid and the battery, the vent for the battery, and power connections for the coach. There's also a door over here that you can just go into the battery area if you like. And on this side, we got the storage compartment. And it is absolutely huge. You can store a lot in there. This is where the central vacuum bag is located and system, just like on our 2015 model. There's also, in this edition, there is a stereo system. And here's some of the outside speakers. We don't have that on ours, but fortunately we don't necessarily want it. Now in here is a one of the propane bottles on the other side. There's a compartment just like this with the other, and they are switchable, so when one's empty, it automatically switches over to the other one. The steps have been upgraded in this particular model year. They're, they look more sturdy than ours, and they have a better gripped surface. The awning is unfortunately the same. It ends right at the door so that when it rains, rainwater is going to come down and splash right inside if you have the door open. And it's also going to wet these stairs. They put an awning on the slide out on this particular version of this model and that might be an option that has to be special ordered but anyway i can see where that would keep a lot of the sun off of the dining area and keep it cooler inside so that looks quite helpful as well as give you a little bit more patio space outside they put this black textured material on the slide outs that is not on ours. Um, I guess probably the main reason is maybe to make these squeegees or seals like people like to call them uh, easier to slide on the surface. Um, they're not open when you're going down the road, so I don't see why it would need this type of uh, protection on it. And one concern that I have is that it's black and that could absorb more light, heat, and uh, make it warmer inside, which could be a good thing, I guess, in the winter, but not so much in the, in the summer. 
one of the things that I noticed different on this too is that there's a little receiver for a bike rack or some type of shelf that you want to put back here for other accessories. The rest of it other than the paint looks pretty much the same as the 2015. It's the other side where the storage opens up so you can open up on both sides. And this is the other propane tank and regulator. So that's pretty much it for the up outside. Let's take a look on the inside. The stairs are quite substantial. Susan's going to give us a look around at the inside. First thing you notice is the handrail there. Uh, that is an addition to the 16. Uh, that would be helpful if it's wet or slippery getting in and out of the RV. The next thing is the dining room. The chairs have changed. These feel much lighter. They don't have the rounded the winged corners. Make it much easier to put them together to strap them for traveling. So that's a nice improvement. A lot of storage up here and I noticed they did change the glass. Our 15 has the frosted glass in these cabinets and they've gone to a clear. Looks to be about a foot deep, maybe four feet wide. Still have the theater seating. Looks a little bit different. They've done a little bit different with the edging. Look maybe more substantial. Yeah. Better built a little, maybe. A little better built. Same couch. with the couch. Yeah. It's a pull out, a queen size bed. And same with the glass over here. Lots more storage up above the... Still have this ceiling fan, which is a great help. It's warm. Have more storage above the built-in desk. And as well as over the TV, goes really deep. Now ours has the little stereo just basically sits down on the shelf here and all of this space is open. We get a little bit more space but this one looks to be designed a little more substantially. Easier to access maybe. We still have the electric fireplace. The big cabinet here goes through from both sides. That's handy. They changed the edging on the countertops a little, made it a little more decorative. It's the same countertop. Double sinks. Let's look at some of these drawers. I have five drawers here, four on this side, and one under the stove, and another big drawer down here. microwave convection oven as well as the three burner propane stove. Big freezer holds this, almost as much as a household refrigerator yeah. and freezer. Really nice. Quite large, runs on gas and electric, propane and electric. These pantry cupboards are really deep. Get a lot of things in there. Lots of food storage. Still have the electric dustpan and the built in vacuum system. This closet, one we are using as a coat closet, the shelves are removable. And this is where the washer and dryer hookups are in here so you can take these shelves out and put a washer and dryer in if you so desire. Uh, they have changed the control panel to it looks like a touch screen. A little bit different. 
And a big improvement is these stairs. They got rid of the carpet on the stairs. So that's a wonderful upgrade. Yeah, I like that a lot. All right, looks like the shower is the same. Still has the big skylight. Place to sit. Bathroom here, big medicine cabinet. And we have our second sink here with another medicine cabinet. And storage down here. Goes all the way back. And king size bed. Storage on either side of the bed. Let's lift this up and look underneath of it. So this is the storage that you get underneath. They got two of the folding versions of the dining chairs in here. Which you could take out and use this for storage of off-season clothing or bedding, whatever. A lot of room there. Got a built-in dresser. This drawer is really deep. The clothes hamper still opens from the top. <laughs> and this is the walk-in closet. So to speak. Yeah. Can't really walk in, but that's what they call an I RV I guess you walk -in can walk closet. in when there's nothing in it, <laughs> <Yeah>. but. <laughs> Got shelves there and shelves these in the back. Have storage below. Yeah, these are quite nice for putting away winter shoes or whatever you want to keep in there. Nice substantial shelf up here. And that's about it. It's really nice. We hope you enjoyed that quick look around the 2016 Montana 3402 RL. It was quite warm in there, well over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, but we wanted to give you a look around. So please remember to comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. This is among Keystone's top seller for Montana models. This is the Montana 3790RD, which is rear den. We're gonna take a look around, kinda discover it together here. Check Front compartment. Whoa. <laughs> it's different, it's yeah. not hydraulic. Yes. It's magnetic. Okay, you gotta just push it up there and hope it stays up. Uh, Looks like it's wow, big. yeah. Good storage there. And because this is a rear den, that means it's an upstairs for the bedroom and an upstairs for the den, which gives you an additional storage underneath the den. So you got all this room here. You could even put bikes in there laying down if you needed to or all kinds of things. Wow, there's an, oh my goodness. Lots of storage in this model. Yeah. Let's have a look around the back and see what they did here. Yeah, this is one of the things that I really don't like on fifth wheels is when they flatten these out like that. And that probably has a lot to do with it being a rear den. In our model, the 3402RL, we have the very large window in the back so that we can sit and view the scenes. A couple slide outs on this side. Let's have a look inside. Very similar decor. You got the upstairs den here. Looks like you have two beds that can actually come out here. Couch, sofa beds. Refrigerator, gas and electric, and short counter. Here's the pantry here. Let's go 
bunch of storage over here with pull out drawers. It's kind of handy. That you be able to get to the stuff when you're bending down like that. These are just uh, big cabinets. Cabinet. But you Pretty lose much. the bottom there. Yeah, it's where the vacuum is. Mm -hmm. Got all this cabinets up here. It's like a little jacket closet. Control panel. The bathroom. Now look at the way this door slides in. So instead of coming all the way out into the hall, kind of goes back in. So my guess is you'd definitely have to close it a little to use the toilet area. Shower and skylight. Sink. Looks like it might be a king size bed. Storage underneath, some of the extra chairs folded up and stowed away. Chest of drawers. Television in here. This be where you put the washer and dryer. Hookups, you can use it for storage or put a washer and dryer in. A small closet. There is another section to it on the other side that has shelves, little shelves on the side of the bed, a little place to set your phone or clock, whatever you want, on the little ledges there. Air conditioning control for the back room here. There's a closing door. A lot of these will have pocket doors or sliding doors of some kind. But this is definitely a nice way to do this door. Well, that's a look at the 3790RD Montana 2017.